and we're here, we're in Zlin, but somebody's very grumpy that they want to eat food. So we can't really do this video because they're grumpy. No. We're finally going to vlog in Zlin. Finally. So with respect to Zlin, the city, there's not really much history here. It's a small city, just under 80,000 people. And there's only one place we can really start or really talk about in Zlin, which is where we're walking now, which is in the Thomas Bata Institute and right beside the Thomas Bata University. Now, what is Bata? Basically, for those who don't know, like myself, who found out like an hour ago. What is Bata? You know more than me, so. It's a shoe company, it's a shoe store. Right? So it's basically like a shoe company, a shoe store. And I think to this day, they've sold like 14 billion shoes, mm -hmm. uh, which is quite interesting. That's like more shoes than I've like ever walked to the planet. It's just more feet than I've walked to the planet anyway. Thomas Bata, he was born in Zlin, and at the time, sort of like he was born, he started his company in the late 19th century, I think it was 1860s or something through that. Anyway, so he started his shoe company, his shoe empire, with his family, and eventually it sort of like it took off, man. It blew up, and it blew up for Zlin in a way that like he was able to expand the company, create new jobs, and then all of a sudden people in the area wanted to come to work for him in Zlin, wanted to work for these companies. And in doing so, he sort of expanded the city. Okay, so we thought we'd mix it up, make it different this vlog. So why have we come to Zlin to watch this match? Well, you've probably seen from our other videos, including Banit, and other times in Morales when we come to watch football here in this part of the Czech Republic. There's always it's always good man, always good fan culture, it's always like Cairo, there's just always, you always leave on a bar, yeah, there's always something man, and I feel like if you're ever going to watch a football match in this part of the world, you always need to in panic. I feel like if I were to watch any other more than football without panic, it just, it wouldn't be the same. Maybe it would, but I just know about it. Would be the same. founded in 1919, just over a hundred years ago. They haven't really had much success as a club, but in some ways they do actually have, for example, success, more success than any more, most of the Czech teams. They won the domestic cup twice in 1917 and, 19, and in 2017. It's one of the first stadiums that we've been to where people actually haven't bought a ticket and they're sitting up on top of a hill watching the game. What say about these teams and about the stadium is that maybe if I perceptive you think oh it's like it sounds like a really like low level team, small stadium, but at the same time man, like for Bannock here today and, and like an almost I'm gonna shoot sold out game, I feel like it's gonna be uh, quite lively where you think okay these are quite the special games to go to because they're not the big boy teams but you sort of see very raw pure organic fan culture in here.
We had to get a train back to Prague, so we didn't really have time to do the post-match reaction at the stadium. But the full-time score was 1-0 to Banik Ostrava. Um, it was sort of like quite a bland game. There wasn't really much action going on on the pitch. But in the stands in the second half, it really, really delivered. We had a pyro show from the home fans. We had two pyro shows, actually, as you've seen. And we also had a big-ass pyro show from Banik Ostrava and their friends. And that was crazy. <laughs> The stadium itself is sort of why we love doing these vlogs and going to these teams that are, have small capacity stadiums. So the stadium is 6,000 and you can see how much life it has in the stadium today. Like I'm sure that 6,000 capacity ground today had a better atmosphere than one of like 50 or 60,000 that I've been to. Honestly, I'm not joking. Out of 10, we decided to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It was a great sold out stadium, good atmosphere, lovely ground. Nice fans, nice people all around. Zlin is a really beautiful town, and we're going to give it a solid eight. <laughs> train back to Prague we bumped into two Ostrava fans who came with us all the way back to Prague who live here we caught up with them on the train we had a beer with them and they were really insightful they, they sort of told us how they travel up and down the country every two weeks to watch their club Ostrava and it was just great to finally meet Ostrava fans and to get a good insight and understanding as to why Ostrava is so supported what the club means to so many locals Czech people who follow Ostrava <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this vlog. We are back this week. We did go to visit another derby in the Czech Republic. We went to visit the East Bohemian derby between Radic Kralov and Pardubice, and that was a game. It was mad, honestly. There was pyro, police, everything. That was a really good game, and I hope to bring that to you throughout the course of this week. So stay tuned. Again, good luck to Slim for the season. Good luck to Strava. We hope you enjoyed, and just like, subscribe, and, and stay up to date with more Czech football. And this is why we love the Czech Football League. Underrated league?
great fan culture.